Go look at a local pond, grassy plains, or even your backyards, and you will most likely find these feathery friends grazing on grass and socially interacting in what appears to be a well-knit unit. An open area like a stream, local park, airport, golf fields, or even your backyard provides the Canada goose with a wide open grazing and feeding range where they can spot any possible predators approaching from any given direction. I mean, can you blame them now for taking a vacation on your property? You would do the same thing if you wanted security for your peers, young, and more importantly, yourself. I mean, who wants to get attacked or potentially eaten, right? That being said, their adaptation to urban environments isn't a personal attack on society. It would be an insult to their intelligence not to claim residence in these areas. Here at the bank of a pond is a flock of one of nature's most overlooked and disregarded animals, the Canada Goose. Although at first sight they may appear bland and ununique, and they may even possibly be viewed as a nuisance by some, I can say that all life is beautiful and unique and all you have to do is be a little bit more patient and look a little bit closer. It's early spring, and the geese have traveled very far to reach home for one very special reason, to raise young. Some have come from the mid-southern United States and others from southern Canada. They have arrived, but before the breeding season begins, it's important they regain their strength. They move in formation along a thriving lush opening of vegetation, making sure to cover all surface area so no tasty treats escape their eyes. Primarily herbivores, they sift through the vegetation and quickly pull tufts of grass from their roots to consume. They will also consume some grains such as wheat, rice, and corn if they are readily available, but sometimes even small insects and fish if the opportunity presents itself. A monogamous species, they will carefully choose their mate and bond for life like this pair here. It is a beautiful and inspiring behavior. Their sense of commitment to one another is compelling to say the least. They trust and protect each other wherever they go. And when one leaves, so the other will follow. Summer is here, and the nesting season has begun. It's a key moment in this mother goose's life. After laying one egg every one to two days for upwards of nine eggs, she has sat and attentively incubated her soon-to-be offspring for a total of 28 days. Her effort and time has not gone unfruitful. She has successfully hatched five of her six eggs, and the newborn chicks appear completely healthy. One remains trapped in the shell. She tends to it and moves it carefully to keep him as safe as possible. Ready to give her life to protect her young, she's even prepared to defend them against myself and any other human that she considers to be too close or an imminent threat. She extends her wings and appears greater in size, and yells, letting the threat know that she's ready to do whatever is necessary to protect her young. Even the male sits and overwatches his mate and young from a distance. He arrives the moment he hears trouble, ready to defend and give his life just as his mate is. Days have now passed and the hatchlings are enjoying their first experiences of life picking around through the grass, exploring, but always overlooked by mom and dad, and never alone for too long.
However, sometimes they form gang broods. These can include upwards of five broods that feed, wander, and loaf together. They spend most of their time sleeping and feeding, building their strength to survive in this crazy world. for the first entire year of life. As time passes and they grow, so they will grow socially. Traveling together to find food when it's scarce and gathering in numbers to reduce the risk of predation. But as of right now, these young geese will learn the very basic lessons of life and enjoy the time that they get to spend together here on planet Earth. <laughs>